think of it is if you set your paddle in the water, say your boat's moving and you're coming across, across a buoy that's right here, right? If you put your paddle in at that buoy, it should come out of that buoy. Oh, okay. You know, it shouldn't pass right. this way. Yeah. Right, right. That's one of the reasons. So it's not about your paddle moving through the water, it's about your it's boat about your moving, boat moving to that point that you locked it in, yeah. All right, we're here with Johnny Puakea. We're gonna learn, I guess, the most important part of the stroke, which is? The catch. Okay. I mean, the way I, I look at the catch as, I don't always wanna say it's the most important part of the stroke, but it's the first part of the stroke. And if you don't get that right, then I feel like the rest of your stroke is shot. So, and it's to me, 95% of the people out there are kind of either soft on their catch or having cavitation. So they're not able to use their whole body. You're not able to use your strength. You're not able to use the conditioning that maybe you've gained, right? So what I want to talk about is, and I wanted to break it down because as we thought, and we did videos before, I would go to different places for clinics, New Zealand, Australia, and everybody would say, hey, I've been watching your video. I've been working on these things. And I think to myself, this is amazing. I'm super stoked that people are learning from the videos that go out. Because when they go out, honestly, you kind of feel like, oh my God, I, what am I doing out there, right? Saying all this stuff. But they say, oh, you know, I feel like my technique got better. I'm looking for the feel of the catch. And then when I go to do a clinic, I see a lot of people slipping on the stroke. So today, what I'd like to do is- What just, does that mean, slipping? Slipping means you have cavitation or you have air. Um, to me, slipping is more when the you put the paddle in the water and the paddle's moving, but not the boat, right? So you How does have, that look? The, can you yeah, so if the paddle's gonna slip, if you, set, if you don't set your blade, you're gonna come forward this way. You're gonna put it in, but maybe it's not in all the way, and it's gonna go through the water. And you hear that noise, right? So I do this right now, I can talk to you, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't bother me, it's easy for me to do. Um, I can actually talk to you while I do this. No You're just doing effort, but nothing's yeah. happening. And what's happening literally is the paddle's not put, being put in all the way before you start to put pressure on it. And if it's not in all the way, it creates an air pocket in the front of the, in the back side of the blade, right? So you're, if you're in all the way, now this is hard. It's very hard to do. Oh. I, I can't talk to you when I do that, uh -huh. right? If I set this blade all the way in and try to pull it hard, that takes effort. And at the same time, you don't hear any noise. So I think what most people do wrong is, I mean, as we're taught to paddle, everybody says, reach, reach, reach. And I always kind of say reach, reaching too far only looks good in a camera, right? This looks beautiful in a shot. But by the time most people go in the water, they've come back to about here. And by the time, and as they're coming back here, they're now creating an air pocket. You hear that, right? You hear that noise and you see, you'll literally see the water swirl from the back of the paddle and come around to the front, right? So this happens. And now the paddle's easy, it's soft. It's slipping through the water, right? I like to think it's like a mail slot. The paddle goes in through a mail slot and you lock the blade. And right then, now you have pressure. The boat now has to move. Right. So for people, I think this is something that people need to practice over and over and over again to get it done right. Um, and there's a couple ways to do it. You can think, on the catch you think one thing. You think arms are gonna put the paddle in, not the body. Right. So this is your motion and it's not with your body like this. Right. Because when you go like this, then you put weight on your foot, you bounce the boat. Just disconnect it here. And then one thing you really want to do is figure out where you can put your paddle in. If you're 6'6", six, six, it goes in up here. If you're 5'4", it goes in up here. Right? A really good gauge, well, one of the ways you can do it is actually come to the exit position, which is right here. Keep the whole paddle in the water. And you got to remember that this is the whole paddle, not this. And from here, you move it forward. Forward, forward. You don't allow it to come out at all, at all. Just at all. the full blade, full or blade. a little bit above the blade. The whole blade. Okay. Ah, at least the whole blade. Okay. Right. So for me, this is my catch position. This is my mark. Okay. Right. If I reach here, I'll never put it in. So you're not doing that full like body reach thing too much. My mindset is put the paddle in where you can set it completely. You got to find that spot for you. Right. And the angle where you set it in completely does that matter? It does. I mean, you want to. You want to make sure that you have some sort of forward angle on it without bending the top arm, right? Okay. So kind of if you look at the body positioning, a lot of people talk about the A-frame kind of like this, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, when the blade is full completely, if the bottom hand is in front of the top hand without a lot of bend or any bend on it, 
then I know that the blade's loaded at a nice angle. Right? So you want to think. Two, it's a simple thought process. Two, two arms straight, set with the body, put the whole paddle in where you can reach it. Right? So here's your drill. You come forward, you put it all the way in without pulling it back, you take it up. Put it all the way in, take it up. Most people will put it in about that far and just kind of do this thing. You can't do that. You gotta go all the way. All the way in here, and then when you pull, no noise of air. Right? So it's a pull, or are you you pushing down the top hand? Yeah, once you load, you're pressing down using your opposite lat. I mean there's a lot of things involved. And that's where the you know the clinics come in, and that's where the, the four hour talks or the one hour sessions come with people, and you can kind of talk okay. about that. And I always feel like you, you don't want to think about too many things at one time. Your body has habits. If you get one of the things in about four months and you create that habit, you're going to be a better paddler. And but then the you move most on important to the next. Is to catch. The first part should be the thing you get right. right? Okay. A couple, couple ways to do it. You can use the mail slot thing like this. Um, I also say in a one man or in a six man, even if you're sitting properly with your feet, when your paddle is in at your foot all the way in, you're at a good spot. If you've sunk your whole paddle at your foot, you've done an amazing job. Because yeah. nine out of 10 people, or even more, will reach here and then sink here. Oh, right. Just go in here. Just go in all the way yeah. instead of doing that. Because if I go here, now it's soft. If I go in where I can sink it and lock it first, now it's hard. And that's the difference between locking your blade, moving the boat, and the paddle slipping through the water. Yeah. So are you are you focusing on that where you, you put the, the paddle in and then it's like the paddle's in concrete and you're moving yeah. your boat past it kind of thing? Every time you take a stroke. Okay, so that, that is time. a valid one. Yeah. If you come forward and it didn't feel that way or it felt like it had a little soft on it, the next stroke better be good. That's kind of how you should think. So it shouldn't feel like your paddle's moving through the water. It should feel like your paddle is stuck and you're moving past your paddle. Yeah, exactly. Kind of think of it as if you set your paddle in the water Say your boat's moving and you're coming across, across, across a buoy that's right here, right? If you put your paddle in at that buoy, it should come out of that buoy. Oh, okay. You know, it shouldn't pass right. this way. Yeah. Right, right. That's one of the reasons. So it's not about your paddle moving through the water, it's about your it's boat, about your boat moving, moving to that point that you locked it in, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so you, how much do you reach over, how much do you not reach over with your body? Over or forward? Yeah, like forward, you know, because you know, you got that full reach kind of action. You know, I think I just think of enough body movement forward to get my weight on the blade when it's in the water. Okay. And then arms to put it in, and then the pressure comes down with the body weight on it. Okay. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're pressing down and not forward, especially on the catch. A lot of people, I mean, what you want to watch for is see you get in your one man or you get in the training tank if you have the you know, accessibility to it, is when you come forward and you do this drill for the catch. Most people will start to come back on that drill mm -hmm. already, right? You have to, you kind of got to think, you know, the whole paddle goes in like this, right? This is the catch here. Set the blade, it locks in, there's no noise at all, right? And the thing is about having your catch locked is when you set your blade, I can take this paddle and just kind of pull it with one arm pretty easily mm -hmm. with cavitation, right? Right. If I set the whole thing in like this, it's almost impossible to move that. So now the boat's moving. So even though it feels like you're going slower, you're not. Your blade is going to be moving slower, but yeah. your boat will be moving faster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we're at the side. So let's see how this thing is supposed to look from the side. So, so you're not reaching over like with your body that much. Not like in the, all the pictures and of people and so on kind of thing. No, you don't want too much body movement because it rocks around the boat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you want just enough. I kind of feel like you. You lean forward just enough to get your body over the blade. It's kind of the thought. Uh -huh. Because when you are setting that blade and locking it on the catch, you want to have your weight on top of that. And how much of the stroke is in your body and how much of it's in your legs or I mean your top half, your legs, your arms, what? You know, I don't like, a lot of times we think we want to talk about mechanics. Mm -hmm. Five degrees, this, that. Yeah. I mean, we used to teach, you know, push the legs, then the hips, then the shoulders, then, you know what I mean? And, and we get caught up in this mechanical thing. If you just reach forward, set the blade, and lock it in the water, most of the time your body will do what it's supposed to do. Okay. Okay. Can you do a few and then talk, talk through it as you're going in? Well, yeah. Or the drill, or 
Well, anything else? I can do the, I think a really good drill is here. You know, you take a look, you watch your arms. Is my top arm pretty straight? I mean, for me, my habit is to bend the top arm a tiny bit. Okay. You never want to bend your top arm back to get your reach. Because if you bend okay. it back, you're giving it somewhere to go, and that's a bad motion. All right. Whatever you start with, you're going to finish with. If I'm out here like this, I have a lot of pressure and a lot of power coming from my land. Okay. Right. So from here, I think mail slot in, press, and I think the pressure. Okay. A nice solid pressure coming through the wall. Okay. Let's do like three more or something. Okay. Because This is solid, right? How long it takes. Okay. And this is cavitation. Easy. And I'm doing nothing. Okay. Lock the blade, find the cement, do the drills, whatever it takes to learn how to set the blade. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment, give us a thumbs up, and see you next time. Thank you.